Hi YouTube, this is Dark X Silent. Uh, today I'm on Pika Network, and a lot of people have been asking me how to make shops, and so I just want to do a quick tutorial on that. So, you have a plot here, and you're making a chest, which I don't know why I did that. I've made these here for a reason. So you have four chests here. Obviously, you can't put them together because that wouldn't make sense. So I'm trying right now. But if you actually make a trap, ch trap chest, you can put them right beside each other, saving a lot more space. So there's how you do the basics with your chest. Now I guess the question is now, how do you do sell and buy? Good question. So you look right here, and you see my name. You see a half inventory. You see 16 mil for half an inventory, which that's that's a stupid price, by the way. And then it has quartz blocks. So basically, if we break down this structure, um, we'll start with this one. So a basic one would be your name. You can't do anyone else's name. It will automatically reject it. I do half inventories, but most people on here do full inventories. So we'll go with that. And we'll see, for a full inventory, what I do is I do 16 mil. So you want 16 and then E6. E6 represents zeros. So you have six zeros after that 16, which equals 16 mil. Then you need the ID for quartz. And if you see in that top left, I made a sign specifically for my ID so I didn't have to look for it, which is 155 for quartz. So once you hit done, you have your sign, full inventory, you sell for 16, and you're selling quartz blocks. Which, and now you can also go the same route with buy. So if you go dark silent, or your name, then full inventory, or half, just depends on what you do. And then you can also buy a whole inventory of quartz, which is 155, for 16 mil. Now... This is the thing. For non-donators, you're better off going with a sell and a buy sign. Just because that you can take them out and sell to a higher person, such as myself. Or, you can leave a buy on it for donators to come to you, to buy from you. Because, for you guys to sell at Warp Z is 9 mil. Rather as a donator like myself, I can sell way more. I can sell for a way higher price. That's why I sell to you guys for 16 mil, just so you can make a, a lot extra for your buck. But let's go ahead and talk about this sign real quick. So you see that it's a sell and a buy sign. So let's go ahead and go over here. And so you type your name, and then you want to do a uh, full inventory. This will probably be a lot easier. So with a full inventory, you're going to sell. Um, let's see. I sell for 16. So. I'll say that you want to, me to buy from you for 16, so you sell to everyone else. You sell your quartz for 14 mil. That's fine. And then you do a little colon, and then you do the opposite. You go buy. So this is for like helping donators. You want donators to buy the quartz out of your chest for 16 mil. So therefore you make 2 mil profit, and you didn't have to do anything because the donator took it out of the chest for you. Therefore someone can put it in. It's one of those easy things for non-donators because donators do all the work for you and they still make profits so they have to earn their money from you and you just get the benefits from it. So we'll do quartz again, 155. So now you see that I'm going to sell it to people for 14 mil and anyone can buy it for 16 mil. So for this example, um, myself, I usually sell for 16 mil and then I go sell it myself. So if we actually go to one of my places, like Dark Warehouse, we can go over here. And then we can see I have this chest. I have a home set for Z. So if you see right here, I just sold that for 21 mil. So you obviously know I'm making money from it. Um, and there's Richie Dash. Just ignore him. He's selling stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, I mean, that's the basics of it. Now, the only thing is... I know everyone likes to put a lot of chests and then do this, but but you shouldn't do that. Do the fact that a couple of months back, um, Dutch Miner, the owner, um, set a limit to how many chests or entities you can put in a certain chunk. So right here, I have a pre-made chunk. Uh, if you do F3, you can see the chunk is 0 to 15, and then all the way over back to 15 again. Therefore. It's a full 15 by 15 chunk. Now right now I have 450 chests laid out right here. So you see all this. 
I'm just gonna add five more. So four hundred and fifty-five chests. This chunk needs to unload, so let's go ahead and just go to a different plot. And then let's go back. Alright, so it looks like I was wrong. It's not 455, that's the limit. Let me go ahead and add a few more. Because I'm pretty sure I hit that limit not too long ago. So we're going to leave it again. Then we're going to go back. It's still there. Okay, alright. That definitely did not work out. Let me, um... So what they did is they set a limit on entity chest, which is chest, ender chest, signs. It's you can look up a list. I'll leave the link on the bottom of the video. But basically, the owner put a limit on how many entities you can put in a single chunk, which in my case is kind of dumb. Otherwise, you can't have a big shop. All right, so I added some more just just for that a little bit. If we go back, there you go. So see, somewhere around there, there's a limit. But it, we know it's at least higher than 455. So that's why you kind of see uh, my dark warehouse. That's why you see me sort of like it's big, but I don't have a third layer. Due to the fact that one of these are really connected with a chunk. And I hit the 400, I hit the whatever limit it was. And it wiped over half of my chest. So that wasn't helpful at all. So I started to look at the chunks and then I started to match them. So now I have a lot more chests due to the fact that I matched it with the chunk. Therefore giving you a lot more chest space. So if you want to help a donator or if you just want to make life easier, always add the buy. You can always find people that are selling for at least 16 mil. So just in case none of us like donators come up, you can just open it, take it, and go sell it to us. Either way. But that's how you basically do a shop. So you just, so we'll just go ahead and do a couple. So, and then, oh fuck. Uh, all right, so I messed up right there. It's all right. Everyone makes mistakes. And then that. Then I could have someone come and sell to me that and go sell it for that. And go buy it for that. But that's how it basically goes. Um, just a few things. Um, if you ever want to look at my any of my shops, you can actually go to Discord. And you'll see this code right here. You can get into my dark HQ. That connects every shop. So you should know where to go from there. Um, other than that, uh, you guys, uh, thank you for watching, and if you think of another video I should do for this Pika server, please comment. I, I would love to start doing a little series just for this Pika network. Um, I'm also doing a giveaway right now, sweepstakes, for uh, $1 billion. I have a separate video on how to enter. Right now, I believe we have a total of... Yep, we have a total of 26 people in the sweepstakes. Once I hit 60, I will go ahead and pull names, and then I will post them up on a board in the financial department. It's going to be over here, in the very end of the board. But go ahead and enter that while you're at it, and enjoy the game. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.